Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about installing GAM Advanced XTD3 while using environment variables in the process. The reason we're choosing this version is that it is based on Python 3. The other versions of Advanced GAM are built on Python 2, which will lose support at the beginning of the new year, 2020. Before we begin, make sure you have API access granted. To check that, open up your admin panel, select security, scroll down to API reference, and ensure enabled API access is checked. Let's go to GitHub and download the latest version. One thing you should know about GAM and its releases, Everything you did in GAM, you can do in Advanced GAM. Because I'll be installing this on a Windows 10 64-bit system, I'm going to download the GAM Advanced XTD3 Windows X64 zip. You may see a warning, in which case you may have to click the up arrow and say keep. Say show in folder, you can extract it. this, cut it, put it on the root of your C drive. I'm going to rename mine to GAM Advanced XTD3. Let's take a look inside to see what kind of files are in here. And now we'll move on to the next steps. Continuing on, we're going to create a couple extra folders on the root of C that we'll use. First folder, I call this one GAM CFG. And then our next folder, I'm going to call it GAM work. After that, we go into the control panel. Select system. Advanced system. Environment variables. And on the bottom, select new. And what we want to do is the variable name nine letters long, all caps, G-A-M-C-F-G-D-I-R. And the variable value we place will be GAM CFG. Now, as you can see, this is the folder that we had created earlier, and this is the variable we're going to use. Select OK. Our next step to look for path, scroll down, select path and choose edit, then choose new. And what we want to do is put in the path to our GAM folder. This is the one we had extracted earlier and put on root to C. Select OK. Click OK to get all the ways out. Click OK again. Next, let's check that our environment variables are set correctly. Open a command prompt. Type the word set, and let's have a look. Scroll to the top. We can see both our environment variables have taken. Let's move on. Next, we'll change directory and go to our GAM CFG directory. Now, just to be clear, I want you to know that the only browser session that I currently have open is my domain super admin account. We're going to find ourselves going in and out of the DOS window and the Google Super Admin account that you have open. Let's begin. In our command prompt window, let's type GAM version. As you can see, a couple files got created. It's complaining about some files that are not found. That's because we still have to create these files. If you notice, there's a file called gam.cfg. 
This is where all our settings will be kept. Next, what we want to do is create our project. So in the same command prompt window, type in GAM create project. Here, you want to put in your super admin account. This is the admin account that you're signed in with on your browser. This will open a browser window. Select allow, then go back and you'll see the project being created. From here, we continue following the instructions. So our first step is to go to this website here. Edit, copy, let's open a browser tab. Let's go to this URL. And then we go back to our prompt to see what it tells us to do next. So now it says to click the blue Create Credential button and choose OAuth Client ID. OAuth Client ID. Then we go back to the DOS prompt. Then it says click the blue Configure Consent Screen button Enter GAM for application name. Consent screen. Once the application name, we can put in, I'm going to put in GAM ADV2. Then go back to your command prompt window. It says leave other fields blank. Click the save button. Scroll to the bottom. Select save. Next, choose other. Enter the desired value for the name. Other. I'm going to call this GAM B2. I'm going to give it just the same name as I did in the application name. Select Create. And then if we go back, it will tell us to copy your client ID value because that's what we're going to put here. Here's your client ID value copied. Then what we want to do is go back to our command prompt. Edit, paste that, hit enter. Then I want your client secret. We go back to this screen, select copy, go back to the prompt, edit, paste. Then it's telling us to go back to the OAuth client pop up window if it's still open, to click OK to close it. And it says that's it. Your GAM project is created and ready to use. Now remember, we're talking about the GAM project, not the use of using GAM yet. Now we go back and take a look at our directory. We'll see another file that's been added in, the client underscore secret dot JSON. Next, we run a command, GAM OAuth create. Now this uses the client secret to make a file called OF2 text. That allows us to create users, create OUs, etc, etc. Press enter. Now we use C to continue. C, enter. And once again we have to enter in our Google Super Admin account. Enter. This is going to open another browser window. Select your admin account again. Allow the scopes. You'll be presented with it again. Select it. It's because there's a lot of scopes to be accepted. And once you get that far, go back to your window. And you can see that OAuth2.txt was created. Now we go back to the directory and have a look. We can see that file created. There it is here. So now OAuth2 text is used for client access. OAuth2 service.json is used for service account access. Now what we have to do is finish up the OAuth2 service account access. So now we go back and we type in gam space user and you enter in any valid email address for your domain. This account is not being used for anything more than to see if account service access is working. Let's see. Check. In one word. 
service account. Now this will go out and check and see if it has service account access. And it'll come back and say fail, 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 fail. But as you can see, it gave us a URL that we have to go to. Let's go edit mark. Let's copy this URL. Let's open a new tab. Go in our browser. Sign back in with our Google account. And it takes us to the right place. We'll see. And it did not. So the right place would have been security. Advanced settings. Manage API access. From here we go back to our window. We grant service access client name. That's what we need to copy next. Put in the client name. Go back here. Now we need to copy all of these. Paste them in. Say authorize. And once we've done that, settings have been saved. We go back to our command prompt, up arrow, and let's see what happens. This could take up to 15 minutes for them all to pass, but it looks good to us. Well, we could start using GAM right away. We're gonna do a little extra work here that will save us some typing down the road. Type in GAM info domain. So return a value for us. Our next command is gam space config space customer underscore id put in your customer id which is obtained from the last gam command that we ran space domain space put in your domain name space time zone space local space no underscore update underscore check space true space save space verify so this is going to fill some information in on that gam.cfg file for us our next command to set up will be gam space config space drive underscore dir space c colon backslash gam work save this is to define our working directory need to update gam just go back to GitHub, grab the latest copy, replace the gam.exe inside your gam advanced xtd3 folder, and that's it, you're done. Should you ever have to move your gam installation, simply copy the three folders to the new PC, and then set up your environment variables again. One last thing I'd like to mention is that when we were creating the gam project, that project can actually be shared to other domains that you own. In closing, remember to search out the GAM forms. From there, you can search out answers to your questions or submit new questions. I hope you found this video informative.